Hey guys, how's it going? Mike here, welcome back to Mojo Grip. So today I want to show you something I've been emailing all of you about. It's this solo jet behind me. So I met these guys at Oshkosh two weeks ago and this is the first time I actually heard about this aircraft. So it's a single pilot jet it's called the Striker, at least the one behind me is called the Striker. They have three different models. And the company behind it is called Revelation Aerospace. They're based in Jasper, Georgia. And today I am here and I'm just going to ask a lot of questions about this thing. It looks really cool, uh, but I feel like it's more for the advanced pile. But anyway, you guys stay tuned. We're going to review this thing for you. And so here it is guys. This is the prototype and you see it says X project on it. Let me give you a better view if I step further away. So this is the main shell of the aircraft and this model here is called the Striker. Uh, these come in three different models and the entry level is called the Talon and I'll tell you a little bit about that also but I want to talk about this one first which is the mid-level um, prototype. So the Striker is a single seater aircraft and if you see this looks like a fighter jet. All right, it's technically designed around something of that nature and this you can imagine uh, for pilots or builders who are interested in this are building this either for fun or to just satisfy your dream of being able to fly a fighter jet. Now I did say that it comes in three different models. This one uses a piston engine. Okay, this striker has a 150 horsepower engine and right now the two power plants they offer for this model is the D motor uh, which is 150 horsepower and I believe they'll also be offering a UL power engine also at 150 horsepower. Obviously this is an experimental aircraft so as a builder you may have options to upgrade your power plant if you want to or downgrade. Uh, the only thing obviously you have to consider is the weight, the weight of the aircraft. Now if you see this canopy up here, pretty cool right? Uh, this thing is electronically controlled. I had them open it up and basically it just slides up and down and for this model it's an option to get the uh, to get the latch which is electronically controlled or you can have just a manual one. I believe the entry level which is the Talon, uh, that's all manual. Um, this striker for example has a retractable landing gear or it will have a retractable landing gear and you see right now the height from the floor uh, it's probably around 42 or 45 inches um, but from what I was told the actual finished prototype will be about eight inches shorter to the to the floor. That way you have the proper uh, propeller clearance. So there's going to be a prop back here because this will be a pusher motor. And so you have the, the right clearance to have your prop in the back. Now, let me share some stats with you in terms of performance. Uh, this thing with the 150 horsepower will cruise north of 200 miles per hour. Insane, okay? As a matter of fact, uh, the max cruise they're expecting for this bad boy is 260 miles per hour. Um, the climb rate, 1800 feet per minute, and the fuel tanks will be attached differently, and the standard will be about 20 gallons uh, fuel capacity, so you'd have 20 to 30 gallons and these engines the D motors your power they're expecting three to six gallons of fuel burn per hour so endurance in this thing you may get four to six hours of flight time going 160 200 miles per hour that's that's just insane okay so I'm, I'm giving you a nice nice view here uh, I mean this thing looks awesome <laughs> just awesome but let's check out the interior let me let me show you some of the stuff they got in there it's not much because it's a single seater now the first obvious thing you see is that it is one seat and you may think it's tight in here but i just had one of the founders here john he's one of the partners here and he is about six four six foot four inches tall and so this is the seat here and when i got in myself 
One thing you'll notice is that you're sitting sort of like an inclined position. So you're sitting back, okay? When you get in this thing, you're sitting back. And right here, you have your side sticks, just like you would have in a fighter jet. One there, one there. And you notice the long nose on this thing. That's a lot of leg room, okay? And in here, you just have one screen. Now, again, being an experimental, you will have options for your avionics, but right now what's being fitted on this and what's likely to be a good option for builders would be the MGL, because MGL you can sort of tailor to your fit and what you need in terms of features. Uh, so they will be offering this as an option, and I'm guessing all the switches and stuff will also go around the uh, the cockpit here uh, but very neat and the cabin width is about 37 inches from the shoulder where the shoulder area will be so you got about 37 and then utility again it's a it's a small single pilot jet but you still have some room that you can probably put some stuff back here into now let me show you that leg room I was talking about so right here, and I like when I when they have like uh, doors up on the nose because that way, as a builder, you have access to change things. Because once you install avionics and panels and things like that, you want to have easy reach, right? And so from here, you'd be able to do that. But more importantly, if you see the leg room here, it stretches all the way from in there all the way down here, and also the rudder pedals would be around here somewhere. And the good thing about this is that the rudder pedals will be adjustable. So you have a good nine inches uh, to be able to adjust based on your height. The price, so the base model, which will also have the same shell as you see in front of me here, uh, that model is called the Talon. And with the Talon, you have a fiberglass airframe because it's lighter, it's more affordable, and also your power plant will be around 60 to 80 horsepower, and you're still gonna be able to cruise around 160 miles per hour in that base model. Uh, and also the base model Talon will have a fixed pitch prop and a fixed landing gear. So it's a more entry level uh, aircraft, and that, the price for the Talon is $27,000 for the kit, um, and then if you want to upgrade to this model you see in front of me, which is the Striker, uh, you have bigger engine, uh, bigger horsepower, so you're at 150 horsepower engine, uh, almost double the speed, uh, at least 50% more in terms of your performance. And with that, you put in another 10 grand. But also what you get with the Striker is you have retractable landing gear. Uh, you also have some additional features. Uh, say for example, this canopy, which is electronically controlled in the Talon, it's just manual. And for the Striker, you will have it as an option. And then if you wanna go all the way up to the Voodoo model, Again, similar airframe, but the material will be different. So the Striker and the Voodoo will have carbon as the main material for the, uh, for the airframe as compared to fiberglass. So with the Voodoo, you get basically everything. That's like the premium model, and that's the one you can actually fit a jet engine in and just blow yourself out of the water in terms of the performance. Uh, that then will go up to 300 miles per hour in cruise, and forget the climb rate. <laughs> You're climbing faster than a lot of commercial jets in the Voodoo. So, and I feel that would probably be for more advanced pilots. Now, when it comes to the build phase, uh, uh, from what they've told me, for builders, you're looking at 400 to 600 hours of building time. Now, they will offer build assist programs, so that way if you are a new builder or you don't have as much time on your hands, you can always come out here and build it in their facility here. And for future, they'll post all that information on their website. But I'm certain we'll be back here to get an update on this thing. Again, right now they still have a few builders uh, in the early stages of building, and I'm excited to see what the finished product is going to look like. Okay, so this is my review of the Striker. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you did, 
please give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this aircraft. I had a lot of questions about it. Uh, so let me know in the comments. And if this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike and I will catch you on the next video.